So why did the stock market fall today? So what's going on team? It's Ricky with Tackle Solutions. Hope that you guys are all having an amazing Thursday. It was quite an interesting day as today we experienced one of the worst days this year since March, if I'm not mistaken. If you learned something new in this video, I really hope that I earn your thumbs up and that you guys just absolutely destroy that like button. Well, let's go ahead and get started. One of the first things that I want to talk about is if you even do a very simple research of, you know, what caused the market to sell off. This is forward slash NQ. I'm using the TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim platform. This is the platform that I use, not the one that you have to use. Overall, it dropped over 4% today. There were certain ETF that, of course, when the market sells off, they do exceptionally well. And of course, some better than others, but TVIX absolutely killed it. Like you guys know, from when the market originally began to sell off, this is one of the stocks that we talked about that goes up when the market sells off. 65% is what it gained today. So if you guys look at the 180 day chart, this is not something of course that you would personally want to hold overnight as it does come at a great form of risk. But with the overall idea of when the market is aggressively and consistently selling off, it's again, not easy, but much easier to make money when the overall direction is in your favor. Just understand that it does decay and it does, you know, descend for a long period of time, especially if the market continues to go up. With that being said, yeah, there was supposedly an increase of cases for coronavirus. I wanna share this with you. This might just be me overthinking it again and let me know in the comment section what you guys think. This is since, you know, we were put into this quarantine period where obviously certain states had different regulations, but you know, we pretty much weren't allowed to visit businesses, right? And it was only essential businesses that were open. As soon as this quarantine period started to open back up, what is one of the things that we all said? We don't have a vaccine, nothing has changed yet because now people are irritated, we're just gonna open back up. So it almost seems counterproductive and I made a video talking about it. That was just, again, my opinion, I might, be, I might just be overthinking it. As soon as this quarantine period opened back up and people resumed to business, we saw an increase of cases and rightfully so, it makes sense. What I'm confused on is why is the market now reacting to something that is old news. We've been seeing an increase of coronavirus cases and deaths nonstop since the reopening. The overall peak was in April. And yet, I mean, if you guys look at this, it's a consistent descending pattern. We are making some form of progress, right? But why is it such big news today that, hey, you know, market's selling off because we saw an increase of cases. This is old news. Is it because our focus was in other areas? The market just began to nonstop recover and it just began to ignore the overall idea that things are not getting better. The reason that I'm bringing this up is why today? Was today so boring that they had nothing else to focus on other than, oh shoot, it's really hard to ignore the idea that coronavirus cases have increased since we've gone out of quarantine. And one of the things that you can look further into is that there are certain states, of course, Arizona, the state that I personally live in, has seen a huge increase. There's also, again, uh, because the overall increase of coronavirus cases, another thing that I wanna point out is this only means that the overall recovery is gonna be less smooth as expected. Well, no kidding, right? That shouldn't really come at a surprise, right? Uh, and then the last thing that I wanna share with you, I just wanted you to be aware that from when we resumed and we reopened all states, right? We saw an increase of coronavirus cases. This was a month ago, months ago, right? And we saw a peak over a month ago. Yet, we are seeing the overall reaction, a pullback today. The market has so much to do with overall anticipation. And like we've said so many times before, it's great when we see a consistent uptrend pattern, especially if you understand you know, what is fundamentally pushing it up. When, when everyone just began to question why. Everyone just had huge question marks on why the market was recovering and no one had a firm answer. And now that it's aggressively pulling back, I am genuinely not surprised. Feel free to share in the comment section if you are. Now, the last question that I wanna leave you with is, as things are only getting worse, do you think that we can potentially resume back to the overall idea of another shutdown. Just think about that. What would happen if we continue to see an increase in cases, an increase of deaths, and still no vaccine? Do you think that this would lead for the overall United States to go back into a second shutdown? And just like we talked about before, anticipation has a lot to do with it. How do you think 
the market will react. Do you think that it will continue to pull back? Or do you think that it will begin to ignore the idea and just jump on to some other form of hype or news that they seem to make more important, trumping the overall idea of we have not improved when it comes down to overall infection rates and deaths rates when it comes down to the coronavirus. Just my thought. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. I really hope that I earned your thumbs up. Don't forget to join our free Facebook group. We would love to have an open discussion about this. We have over 278,000 members and that's gonna be that first link down below. Also, just a little heads up, we did do a full restock on both day trader mouse pads and flags as well. So if you guys wanna check this out, this is gonna be the third link down below. The Wall Street mouse pad and the Wall Street flag have already completely sold out and the next ones up are the day trader flags and mouse pad that are almost sold out so again that's gonna be that third link down below i appreciate you guys time don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like always let's make sure that we end the year on a green note take it easy team